good. Rest in peace, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So, my entire life growing up, I've been told from various sources, such as paranoid uncles and uh, pseudo outdoorsmen, that you can't eat jackrabbits because they carry tularemia. And if you eat a jackrabbit, especially in the summertime, you're going to die. But if you do a little research, spend some time, maybe even look up the CDC website, you'll find that tularemia is extremely rare and is most prevalent in the South Central United States. In fact, in 2018, there were zero reported tularemia cases in Utah. Um, not only are rabbits and other rodents prone to getting tularemia, in fact, domestic house cats are extremely susceptible to tularemia. So don't let the haters and the naysayers tell you that you can't shoot a jackrabbit and eat it. In fact, these, I, in my opinion, these are some overlooked game animals that we really should uh, appreciate a little bit more. So today uh, I've set out to find, hunt, and eat a jackrabbit. That's my goal this time. So don't listen to the old wives tales. None of it's true. Do your own research and I think you'll have a good time and you'll find out something that you didn't know about the American West, that it's chuck full of delicious meats. All right, I'm going wabbit hunting. There's a bunch of jackrabbits around here and I've been wanting to try jackrabbit for the longest time. So if I can pop one or two of these things, we'll make some I don't know, either some Haas and Pfeffer stew or uh, just a pan fried rabbit. So I got the old Remington 582 22. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so I shot a jackrabbit. We're gonna skin it, we're gonna clean it all up and get everything ready, and we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna eat it for lunch. I've been wanting to try jackrabbit for a long time, and today's the day. Okay, okay I skinned the rabbit, gutted it, cleaned it all up. Check out how nice this meat looks. Look at that. It looks just like chicken. Here we have, like, it's the entire spine with the back straps on it, the two rear legs, and the front legs up in here. So I'm gonna season this up with some like barbecue style seasoning, put it in a Ziploc bag, let it marinate all day long, and I think we'll probably just pan fry it because there's not enough for a real Haas and pepper stew. So we're just gonna go the quick and easy fried method. Look at that. Mmm. That's gonna be good. Oh. These are the little tenderloins. They were sort of tiny. Beautiful. Alright, this is going in the cooler until dinner time. I think that's going to make a nice little barbecue style fried rabbit. Okay. So here it is. It's all cooked. We cooked it for over three hours. It falls apart. It comes right apart. It's not tough. No knife necessary. That's a piece of the sirloin or the back strap. No weird flavors. It tastes a lot like venison. And yeah, it's delicious. Right there, there you have it. Jackrabbit.
cook one yourself. 